hi all let's continue with our dom session this will be part 2 section previously we have seen dom api in this session we are going to see where does javascript lives as we all know javascript is a programming language and also we have seen without js engine we cannot run our javascript in every browser we will have js engine which is used to execute javascript so suppose if there are no v8 engine we will not be able to execute javascript inside the browser so in chrome we have already seen we have v8 engine for every browser we will have different js engines in this session we are going to see where does javascript lives Basically, we are having three environments where JavaScript will be living. First is inside the browser. We have already seen inside the browser JS engine using which we can execute JavaScript. Second, it lives in the backend. Backend in the sense it lives in the server. So, JavaScript is used as a backend programming language as well. If you want to become a full stack developer, then you can take JavaScript as your preferred language because JavaScript can be used both as front end as well as back end programming language. And third is it lives in the database. So, database maybe it is new for you, but JavaScript lives in the database as well. One by one, we are going to understand regarding this. We are going to see how JavaScripts are useful inside the browser. How JavaScripts are useful inside the backend and also inside the database. But you should always remember JavaScript is used in all these three environments, but the syntax and rules, whatever we apply in these environments, that may differ. So it is very important to understand for each and everything, we will have different rules and also we will have different syntax so the same thing we cannot repeat inside the back end same code we cannot repeat inside the front end so there are changes which we have to do so accordingly you have to prepare for javascript from past few session we have seen browser will be giving access to dom and to manipulate this dom dom api is connected between dom and js so that JavaScript will be getting access to DOM. Okay, previous session we have understood about this. So, inside the browser environment, how JavaScript is going to refer? So, that will be referred as client side JavaScript. Now, client side JavaScript is nothing but if you are creating a website and inside website you are having multiple forms, you are having buttons. So now if you want to click the button, what happens? JS will be involved and we can manipulate the DOM accordingly. If I want to navigate my menu, I can open my menu bar, I can close my menu bar. That all happens because of JavaScript. And that will be referred as client-side JavaScript, basically front-end part. So using this, JavaScript is basically speaking to the DOM and accordingly it is manipulating the things so this is how javascript is used inside the browser now when it comes to backend javascript will be interacting with server that is we are writing the backend code so previously javascript was only used as a front end programming language but later on what happened one software engineer ryan dell he embedded c++ programming inside the v8 engine and he gave the name as Node.js. Because of this Node.js language, JavaScript can be used outside the browser, that is inside the server. Now suppose I am having the form and all the form data is stored inside the database. Now I just want to get the data from the database. So using JavaScript, I can write the code to get the data from the database. I can speak to the server. So, accordingly, server will be giving me the result. So, this is how JavaScript is used as a backend programming language. For backend and frontend JavaScript, syntax may differ a little bit. Now, when it comes to database environment, the very common JavaScript database schema is 
MongoDB. MongoDB, if you have not heard, you do not have to worry. But at least if you have heard about MUN, in that M stands for MongoDB. So if you are not aware, you can just leave as it is. I am just going to give you an example. So inside the database, what we will do? We are just going to store the data inside the database. So in this backend, we have already seen whatever data we have inside the form that we can store inside the database. So to get that data, we need one backend programming language. To get that, we can write JavaScript code. Now to store the data inside the database, that also can be done using JavaScript because we have this JS database schema that is MongoDB. Because of this, it has new language features. So whenever users sign up to the website or later on when the user log into the website, the data has to be stored inside the database. So that can also be done. So JavaScript is very flexible as well as very dynamic. Static means we cannot change the data, but JavaScript is dynamic. It lives in three different environments due to which JavaScript has gained more popularity. But some topics like we have objects, we have functions, arrays, inheritance, data types. These common topics are present in all of these three environments and also almost they will be similar. Okay, you do not have to change anything. Here and there you will be changing the syntax but rest everything will remain same. So what we have seen, we have seen JavaScript will be living in three different environments, browser, backend and database. Browser is whatever user see, client side scripting. Backend means if I want to get the data from the database and database is if I want to store the data inside the database. Now in this session, we are not going to focus on backend as well as database. We are going to focus on JavaScript lives in the browser, basically client-side scripting. I hope you understood this topic, where does JavaScript lives. This is very important to understand because most of the people get confused. JavaScript is a front-end programming language and it cannot be used as a back-end programming. So you should understand this to move further with this DOM.